How's it going guys? Altus Tech here with a very quick Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Uh, today I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how to achieve this very cool pixelated effect. Not really sure if pixelated is the best word to use to describe it, but it's the best I can think of, so it's going to have to work. Uh, but yeah, I just did this quick example here using the Altus Tech logo, and it, ol it only took me about 30 seconds to achieve, so it's really quick, and it's pretty effective. It looks pretty good, and it's really versatile. You can use it for absolutely anything you want. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up a uh, new document, as per usual. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the width 1000 by 600 for height. Should give us more than enough room. Everything else should be fine. Let's go ahead and click OK. And uh, once you've got your document open, what you want to do is go into your channels panel, which is right here. And what you're going to want to do is create a new channel. So just go ahead and click this little icon right down here, and a new channel will appear. Uh, it should be called Alpha 1. Keep that in mind as it will be important later on in the process. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and select our paintbrush tool. And we're going to go ahead and select a large soft brush. So I've just got the 100 pixel size soft brush. That should work fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a random shape here. You can create whatever you want. Doesn't matter at all. Actually, I kind of messed up there. Just don't go to the borders, I guess, because it might look kind of chopped off. All right, that should work fine. Next thing that you want to do once you've got your shape done is go up to Filter, go down to Pixelate, and select Color Halftone. And all of the default options on this menu here should be fine. I'm just going to click OK. And you'll have this cool pixelated effect appear here. Next thing you want to do is go into your Layers panel, create a new layer very quickly, and go up to Select here on the top menu, go down to load selection and what we're going to do is we're going to select our channel that we just created so I'm just going to go ahead and create alpha 1 okay and it's going to import the path of our shape next we're going to go ahead and select a background color here I'm going to select uh, let's go with red and I'm going to go ahead and select control backspace to fill our shape and then control delete to deselect it and there we go, we have our colored shape here. And now just for one final touch, just to make the thing really pop, right click on your layer, go into blending options, inner shadow, just tweak this a bit so it's a little bit less invasive, perfect. And there you have it. Really easy to do, and it's really, you know, it's pretty nice effect. Um, I might be using it for some projects in the near future. And uh, yeah, really easy to do. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, make sure to check out my channel for more tutorials such as this one, as well as cool tech-related videos and awesome stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and stay tuned for more.